you will know ah, trouble heart you know problems have solutions trust and I will show and oh, 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 oh you will know Troubled heart, you know, every life has reason, for I've made it so. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my wonderful, wonderful family. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Yeah, I'm a little off camera right now, um, and but I just wanted to really address this because I've been asked the question um, more than once, and before I forget, because y'all know I can't hardly re- um, keep stuff, I'm on to the next. Um the difference between shame and guilt, okay? I think shame is like, you know, something happens. And I think, I mean, guilt is like, you know, wow, something happens. And, you know, maybe I was a part of it or, you know, I'm, um, oh, I should have did that or something like that. And that guilt is, is more of that type of feeling. Whereas shame is more like, Something is wrong with me. Then that becomes a self-hating mantra, which causes negative vibrations, negative things to occur because of it. But that's just my way of thinking. I'm going to go with um, just reading this real quick excerpt with uh, the doctors again explaining their difference between... um, Shame and guilt. Shame is felt by many therapists nowadays. I mean, it is felt by many therapists nowadays that shame is at the base of all addictions. Wow. Gershon Kaufman, a psychologist who did some pioneering writing about shame, believes that shame comes from damaging the interpersonal bridge between two people especially when one of those is more powerful than the other. Shame comes from not being able to depend on someone. It is a feeling of being exposed as helpless. It can best be expressed as feeling worthless. That is, we feel worthless. I made a mistake becomes I am a mistake. You see the difference between some, you know, you know, it, it, it's the person, it's the personal part of it when it becomes shame. It's like I made a mistake or I am the mistake. Imagine a child who is criticized by her parent. The criticism breaks the bridge between parent and child, and the relationship suddenly comes into question. So when we're vibrating and yelling at our kids and they're looking it up at us and you know and they're afraid or, you know. All we're doing is making them hard, making them cold and cruel. And some of y'all think that's what they need to survive. Um, And I contend that they need to know the difference between predators and prey. But they need to be able to feel their feelings. Because if they don't, then you got a bunch of people who cannot relate to what feelings are for. And that's not whole. That's not a whole human being. That's a real fragmented person. Um, I have done something awful, we say to ourselves, and mommy doesn't love me, approve of me, care for me, etc. anymore. She won't be there for me now when I need her. That's how bad and deep it gets when, when you're talking to a kid. That's how bad they take it when you're on to the next one and they're really thinking that, you have actually cut off their lifeline because the only people they look at in their world is God, is you. 
and you've decided to turn your back or shut down and, and um, close them out and scream and send off those miserable vibrations. Um, and, and when they receive it, I'm just saying it can, it can be filtered and manifest itself in so many horrible, horrible ways um, in terms of acting out. So let me go back to this. We feel ashamed of ourselves um, because we know that we feel worthless and we feel helpless. We feel scared. To help clarify the dynamic of the shame induction, imagine yourself surrounded by all your loved ones. You are in the center and they are encircling you. Each and every one of them is pointing a finger at you. Eyes glaring, saying, shame, shame on you. You are bad. You stupid. You're ugly. You're clumsy. You're just a fuck up. you just anything horrible you can think of. That is the essence of shame. It is ostracism. It is being cut off from the group, from the human race, from your precious support. And a child can be corrected without being shamed. But when the inner core of the child is left with a haunting voice inside that's saying, I am bad. Then we are speaking of shame. As adults, this core of shame is usually well hidden. You know, um, not necessarily from others, but it's, it's hidden from us. We hide it with anger or sadness or depression or for so many of us with one or more addictions. She didn't return my phone call. Who needs her? I'll go out with the guys and get drunk. The boss didn't like my report. I'll fix him. I, don't get mad. Get even. Mom and dad don't like the way I dress. They don't like the shape of my chin. Who needs them anyway? I'll just sleep around with all the boys I can. They're interested in me. My husband doesn't think that I'm spontaneous enough. Who needs to be spontaneous? Who needs his opinion anyway? I can work circles around him and make just three times of what he makes. Work addiction? You must be kidding. I'm just not a loser like him. My A friend of ours, John Holzerman, describes shame as, Thus, I passed by the mirror, and I was surprised to see that it thought enough of me to reflect my feelings. Damn. Damn. Did y'all hear that? I walk by the mirror. Oh, oh, that's shameful. And I was surprised to see uh, that it thought enough of me to reflect my image. Oh. Shame also comes from being spoiled because we never had to learn to be self-reliant and autonomous. We remain overly dependent on our families for a sense of well-being which leaves us helpless and paralyzed as we face the outside world. Parents who give their children too much, who do too much for them, and who protect their children from life's pain aren't really doing their children a favor. They think they are. But really, it is a form of emotional abuse. Y'all hear me? So when somebody's telling you to discipline little Pookie and Ray Ray, you know, you can't go through life with Pookie and Ray Ray cussing out adults. You don't have any uh, rules, boundaries, and limitations for your children. You don't have any rules in play. You don't set the stage where, you know, you have to give them discipline first, and then you give them affection. You don't just make it all imbalanced and always giving them affection without any discipline. And if you don't understand that, and then you call yourself a parent, then I can tell you already, well, you are a parent. I take that back. I apologize. You are a parent. What you're doing is you are going to turn out a person that is more than likely prey on the rest of humanity. And that a person that doesn't, because a person that doesn't know rules, boundaries, and limitations are a problem. They're a problem. In the neighborhoods, they have a problem in schools, they have a problem wherever they go because no one has set the boundaries for them. Okay? So, I hope that kind of makes sense 
what I just read about shame. And I'll see you in the next video.